OK, so let's have a look at Poodle. And Poodle is short for Padding Oracle on Downgrade Legacy Encryption Attack. And it was announced on the 14th of October. There had been a lot of rumours or murmurs around it. And it was eventually announced on the, on the 14th. And basically the core of it is uh, related to the, the flaw that was discovered in SSL version 3. And, and how it actually occurs is that uh, an intruder can actually uh, force the, the website to, to backtrack uh, or downgrade from a normal uh, type of connection using TLS. Okay, so there's, a, there's an example here. So we can see here uh, we're connecting to the Microsoft site, TLS version 1.2. That's a pretty good one. Uh, but what we can do is that uh, we can ask it to be able to negotiate with uh, version 3 of SSL, which, which has a flaw in it that uh, allows an intruder to be able to decrypt the, 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 the encrypted tunnel packets. Okay, so I think if you actually do this on, uh, on, on, a, on Google site, you'll probably see that uh, they have patched it. No, 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 we still have it there. So it's possible for us to, to force the, the site to accept uh, SSL version 3. In this case, all we've done is we've used SSL, create a connection on 443, and asked it for an SSL3 connection rather than a TLS connection. Okay. Okay, so let's look at, at some of the basics around SSL and TLS and see if we can see uh, how they're actually used. Uh, so basically what we have is that uh, we have application application layer protocols, uh, transport, typically TCP, network is IP. So unfortunately those protocols are uh, defined in plain text and can be easily sniffed by an intruder. So SSL sits in between the transport layer, which is our, where we create sockets, and a network layer. That's, where, that's the layer that we use to be able to deliver packets over a, over a network. So what we do is we, we get in between the, the network layer and the transport layer, and then we redefine our protocols to be sitting on different ports that we connect to. So for HTTP, uh, that's web traffic, we move from port 80 to port 443 and it becomes HTTPS. With SSL what's happened is it's went through three main revisions uh, and then on to uh, 3.1 and with 3.1 we defined uh, that version as TLS 1.0 uh, and then the current versions as we've just seen are TLS 1.1 and TLS 1.2. Uh, these are the l magic little numbers here that actually define the, the version that we have. And there we go. There's the, for the data packets captured, there is the version number there. Okay, so if we see 0300 hexadecimal, uh, then uh, that's uh, version 3. Okay, so the way it operates is that we send what's called a TCP SYN to port 443 SYN from the client to the server, saying we want a connection, responds back with a SYNAC, and then uh, the client responds back to say it accepts the connection with a, an ACK. The first thing that we see uh, actually coming through is what's called a client hello. With the client hello, what happens is that the client will actually tell the server which type of encryption it wants to use and it's up to the server to pick off one of those from there. Okay, so this is uh, an example of our capture. We can see here are all the cipher suites that we that it wants to to communicate with. AES is what's used for the encryption. RSA is what's used for the uh, the passing of the key, as we'll see in a little minute. The server also sends its certificate. And what happens is that the client checks the certificate, 
it also pops off the public key and the public key is very important because what will happen is that uh, the client will generate a new key for AES in this case and then it will encrypt that key with the server's public key and send it back and the server will decrypt that with his private key that he doesn't uh, reveal uh, and then they'll both have the same key that they can actually use for the tunnel that tunnel is that encryption key is unique every single time they connect so what happens is that the the server responds back saying well I quite like this method here and let's use that one so this is RSA 3 days uh, with uh, SHA at the end of it then. Okay, so so once they agree, then then uh, then it's up to the to the client to be able to take the session key that's been created. It's going to be created for the tunnel using in this case uh, AES as we've seen. It will take the server's public key and then encrypt it. Sorry, it will take the the session key that we create, take the public key and encrypt that, and then send it back. So here we go. There's the encryption key there. And that's it getting sent back to the, to the server. After it gets it back, then the tunnel can now begin because uh, we're now ready to uh, use that encryption key. Okay, so here's here's an example of what we see when we use our Open SSL Connect uh, onto Google in this case, and then we can actually use this to see all the information, like uh, who signed the certificate. The certificate goes in here. I've just truncated it a little bit, uh, and then what we see, there's the, the TLS version that we're using here, and there is the cipher that we're going to use. In this case, 128-bit <coughs> AES is used, and RSA, as we've seen, will be used for uh, the key exchange. And then the hashing method is then defined here. This allows us to make sure that uh, the messages haven't been modified in any way. Okay, so this just recaps roughly what happens. Session key encrypted with a public key that gets sent over, decrypted with a private key. That's why uh, really companies don't want their private key to be released because obviously they can they can set up tunnels uh, and identify themselves as that company. In this case, we're not using the AES, we're using the RC <coughs> RC4 and 120 bit uh, SHA. Okay, so that shows just an, another example there uh, with uh, that's the that's the different uh, versions of the cipher it wants to communicate with and the server is just picking off this one here. Okay, so so that that uh, gives us a, a, a basic overview. In this case we're using the OpenSSL program to be able to see uh, what the actual responses are from from the site and uh, so this is the Google one we can see TLS uh, there but we can actually force it into using uh, the version 3 protocol such as using that option okay so let's let's try the live one again. See what we get. Okay, so so that that provides you now with an overview of uh, the PUDO vulnerability.